The First Super Mega Adventure Book Super Mega Saves the Troops by Ryan McGee and Matt Watson Narrated by Gino Samuel Act 1 Dawn of Destiny Chapter 1 Sunshine, Sports and Showers Our story starts on a day like any other. The sun was shining through the Los Angeles smog. The pool boy was plucking crumpled leaves from the surface of the water by hand, and two matching 2013 Lamborghini Egoistas were parked in the driveway of the Super Megaplex. The owners of those pristine automobiles were in the front yard, playing a game of good old-fashioned one-on-one American baseball. A gentle breeze was blowing through the Beverly Hills hills and Ryan McGee had just scored his first touchdown of the day against his best friend and non-romantic life partner, Matthew Watson. Gotcha! Ryan exclaimed, a hint of cockiness to his voice. Now, don't think you've won just yet, Matt replied. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeves. We'll see about that. The sun was high, and the game had only just begun. Matt grasped the Babe Ruth autographed baseball between his fingers, carefully avoiding contact with the three Super Bowl rings he had won in a match of billiards. Here comes the rock, Matt yelled. With a swift stroke of his arm, the ball soared across the pitcher's mound and passed Ryan's ear. Score! I told you I still had some tricks up my sleeves, Matt playfully teased. Shove it up your ass, cunt. After an hour of rigorous play and a few glasses of Long Island iced tea, the game had drawn to a tie, and the boys decided it was time to head inside and hit the showers. Now, as you may know, one-on-one American baseball can surely work up a sweat. This is especially true for two red-blooded American male YouTubers who, in their 20s, are at their self-described peak shape and the pinnacle of their form. Let's get inside and hit the showers, bud, Matt said eagerly. Last one in's a rotten egg. Ryan gleefully raced to the front door and ran up the spiral staircase leading to the tower of showers. With some help from Andre, the Filipino pool boy, the men shed their stinky sweat-soaked apparel and got their clean on. Hot water sprayed across Ryan's supple breasts as the droplets traversed the rolls of his back. Matt slid a bar of Irish Spring soap across his washboard 8-pack and lathered his penis in the suds. He squirted a dollop of Axe 3-in-1 shampoo, conditioner, and body wash into the palms of his hands and rubbed them together, whipping up a thick, scented foam. Matt ran his fingers through his pal's wet locks, taking his time to massage deep. Once the filth was rinsed from his hair, Ryan turned and squirted some hot eucalyptus oil across Matt's shoulders. Working his way down, Ryan massaged the hot mess into every muscle and joint of his friend's tender body, careful not to miss a spot. Man, getting clean sure does work up an appetite, Ryan said. You can say that again, old chum. What do you say we go to Mussolini's and get a couple pies and martinis? You fly with that, homie? Yeah, a cheese and bread sandwich with a triple vodka martini, which sure hit the spot right about now. Ryan slapped his rotund belly, letting out a hearty guffaw, hot water drops reverberating onto his pal's face. All right, you goober. Let's finish this shower and get going. Matt ran a soapy washcloth from Ryan's neck to his shaft, cleaning his best friend's olive skin. Ryan poked and slid his slippery fingers between each of Matt's toes, provoking a giggle, and a few chuckles too. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Ryan laughed, turning the water temperature to a balmy 210 degrees. This hot water sure feels nice, Matt said, with a few more bubbles, some suds, and a handful of giggles and squeaks. The boys climbed out of the shower and grabbed their embroidered cashmere Gucci towels. Drying off and playfully spanking one another, open parentheses, not gay, close parentheses, the guys toweled themselves to completion 
and stood it up in their super mega t-shirts that they bought for a really nice price at https colon forward slash forward slash www.supermegamart.net forward slash shop and said they fit really good and are comfortable too. Ready to go? Matt asked his pal. One second, bud. Let me finish this last coat of nail polish. That color is absolutely fabulous. Is that sweater weather? With a slick grin, Ryan retorted. Mojito madness, actually. My favorite shade. He puffed a few delicate breaths onto his drying toes, the polish hiding any last hint of the true yellow color of his nails. Of course. I should have known. Matt laughed. The boys laced up their Air Force Ones and climbed into one of Ryan's purple Lamborghinis. As they peeled out of the driveway of the Super Megaplex, Skrillex blaring from the speakers, Ryan and Matt knew life was good. They were the two most successful YouTube stars in the world, living the dream. But what these boys didn't know is that their dream would soon become a nightmare. <laughs>